What if I told you that you have access to a bank of potentially brilliant thoughts and ideas? Ideas and thoughts that are waiting to be chosen and to be matured into something that adds value to someone's life. And I'm not talking about the ideas that you'll find using AI or reading the next newsletter, article, or book. In this video, I'm gonna give you one simple way to access that idea bank so that you can consistently fill your second brain with meaningful and interesting ideas and thoughts. About two years ago, we added Bailey to our family. She is a Cavapoo, which is a mix of a poodle and a King Charles Cavalier. So one day I'm taking her out to go to the bathroom. You know, we're, we're potty training here and uh, we're out there for a few minutes and I notice that she's just sitting in the grass and looking out. There wasn't anybody there. There was, there was no people, there was no other dogs. She was just looking out at nothing. And I'm thinking, what is she doing? Why isn't she going to the bathroom? She was just simply sitting and watching and being present. And because she was present, she was able to notice the things. She was able to catch things that I would have missed, that I did miss. She taught me that day that I cannot capture what I'm not noticing. To access the, the bank of ideas that I'm talking about, I have to become better at noticing. And to become better at noticing, I need to become better at focusing my attention. Because when I can focus my attention, I begin to see things that I normally wouldn't see. Like a camera lens coming into focus, attention is the key to access the bank of ideas. But there is a villain guarding the bank. We'll call him distraction. He knows the value you'll create if you get access to the ideas. So his only goal is to keep you in the dark, unaware oblivious, distracted. All right, Greg, you told me about this villain distraction who wants to keep me from accessing the bank of ideas. So how do you beat distraction? How do you, how do you beat distraction and consistently fill your second brain with meaningful ideas? There's one simple way, and it's this. Spend more time in silence. Remember, for us to start noticing things, we need to focus our attention. And the best way to focus attention is to reduce the noise around us. And I want you to hear me, I'm not saying that books are not valuable, that some articles are not valuable, the newsletter that you love to read is not valuable and, and, and it provides inspiration and, and ideas that connect to other ideas. I, I get it. But there comes a time when we need to stop consuming and start processing the information. Right? We need to start processing and distilling and thinking about the things that we've already consumed, that we're already learning about. We don't need more. We just need to simply stop and sit in the silence and think and process those ideas and those thoughts. Silence is where you chisel away at that big block of marble to create a masterpiece. At first, going five, 10, maybe 30 minutes without noise can be scary. There may even be times when you are 10 minutes into the silence and you feel like you're not getting anywhere. There's nothing that's coming to you. You don't have any ideas. You're not thinking through anything. Um, but I, I want to encourage you to resist the temptation to turn on the podcast or the music or whatever. Be willing to be bored. Be willing to sit in the silence. And I promise you that the ideas will come. Quality ideas will come. On the other side of waiting and sitting is an oasis of ideas that you have access to. Now, what are some ways that you can spend time in silence? I will give you a hint. It's often subtraction, not addition. We don't need to add anything to reduce noise, right? For me, this is often taking a walk outside. This is my silent time. I'm not listening to any podcasts. I'm not listening to YouTube. I'm not even listening to music, not instrumental music. It's just me walking. I think for me, moving and being in nature, that combination, 
it's almost like I get another pair of glasses where I can start seeing the ideas easier. There's focus when I'm outside and when I'm moving. Here's some other ideas. Turn off the podcast while you're in the car, right? If you are driving from home or driving somewhere, the, the temptation, at least for me, is to turn on a podcast and start listening, right? Always wanting to grow, always wanting to learn. Um, but I think there's value in turning it off and just allowing yourself to think while you're driving. That breakthrough idea, the thing that you've been struggling with, trying to figure out, it may be in the silence, in the car ride, as you're driving. You may find it there. Eat a meal without consuming content. There's another idea. Cook without consuming, right? We're just, we're, we're simply reducing the noise. Here's something else. When I mow the yard, I like to listen to podcasts too, right there. But lately, I've been trying not to. I've just simply listened to the lawnmower as I'm mowing the yard, right? The same thing happens. I'm outside and I'm moving, so I'm seeing the ideas. And, and if I get an idea, you know what? I'm gonna stop that mower and I'll jot down my idea. Which leads me to how do you capture ideas when you're in silence? What I tend to do is I do bring my phone, but it's only for jotting down ideas. The app that I use, Craft, um, is very easy to uh, capture ideas. And so I'm only using my phone when something that I feel needs to be captured, right? So I'm not using it at any other point. You can maybe even put it on do not disturb while you're walking or while you're outside, whatever you're doing. Uh, something else you could do is bring a notepad and a pen, old school. I know that it may sound like it, but when you, when you write things down, physically write things down, it takes you, you have to slow down and, and it requires you to write down the essential, right? Something else you could do is use a, an app like Otter, an audio transcription device. You could even just record a voice memo, right? As you are walking or as you're outside and you have this idea, just pull out your phone, open up that re uh, audio recorder and start recording. If you found this helpful, check out my next video where I talk about three ways that you can connect your ideas to make them even stronger.